Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so if you watched my previous video, you know that I've ruptured my Achilles tendon. I'm now in my second week of recovery and it's still gonna be a long journey, but I thought I'll do a weekly update so that it can help you if you're going through it. You can get some tips and tricks from what I've been through. And I've been doing that. I've been watching quite a few videos myself. Quite a few guys that have done it, professional athletes, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, more recently, I've seen the professor. He's also snapped his Achilles. And every person that snaps their Achilles, it's actually in a different position. So um, like the professor, he's came off at the heel. So he's got two screws in his heel that reattaches his Achilles to his heel. Most people get it quite low down, about five to six centimeters up above the heel, the Achilles ruptures. And mine is different in that it's a little bit higher up from there. So it's actually in the muscular junction of the calf and the Achilles. So it's in a different spot, which the doctor says is actually quite good because normal Achilles ruptures, there's not a lot of blood flow in the area. So the chances of a re-rupture or um, difficulty healing sometimes is quite a high chance because of the lack of blood flow. Where mine, because it's a little bit higher up in the muscular junction, there's a lot more blood flow there. So when it does reattach, it should be quite strong and uh, it has adequate blood supply, so it should heal quite nicely. It's just gonna take a lot of time. I'm gonna go through a lot of rehab um, because this injury is about a year long recovery injury. So I'm just waiting to see next week, I'm gonna see the doctor again. Um, right now I'm in an air boot. So let me show you here, air cast. So you've got three Velcro straps just wrapped around and you can strap it in. Um, it's also got this uh, pump mechanism so you can pump both sides. You just twist the dial and there's numbers. So number one this side, number two this side. And then you just uh, pump it up and it compresses and you can switch to valve number two and compresses valve number two. Um, so what's happened, they've put a a wedge in here this wedge is quite thick it's probably about that thick at the heel just to keep my foot in a plantar flexor position which means toes pointing forward uh, because if you have a 90 degree angle the tendon is not going to heal properly because of that gap so you need your foot in that plantar flexion so that the achilles tendon goes up and it can heal my rupture is about eight centimeters wide which is quite quite a gap so I think that's why I'm in such a lot of pain. I see a lot of the guys in the videos, they're not in too much pain the first week. And uh, the time when I ruptured it, it was, it was crazy pain. It was probably 10 out of 10. It was almost like a crazy spasm in your calf, but like also having a knife through your calf. So it was very, very sore. I think because it was uh, in the muscular junction, a lot more nerve endings and a lot more blood flow. So I really, really felt it. Uh, I was playing squash. And I just went for the ball and I wasn't even running fast. I was just doing a jog. But I think what led up to it was uh, four boxing sessions. So I did four boxing sessions in the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I boxed. I did hard, heavy weightlifting. And on the Thursday, I trained calves and I did quite heavy. I did seated calves with 120 kilos. But I went all the way down, all the way up, and I went very, very slowly. So when I walked out the gym, I was very stiff in my calves already. And then I went to go play squash the next day. And uh, yeah, I guess just the strain of everything that I've been doing led up to it. Because I was just jogging towards the ball and suddenly I heard this pop. But it sounded like a gunshot. It was so loud. And like the classic symptoms, I looked back and... It almost feels like somebody, I thought the guy that I was playing with smacked me with the squash racket. And then when I looked, he was so far away and I, like your brain's confused. You're like, I don't know what, what's happening because you think someone hit you, but nobody hit you. And then as soon as I realized that he wasn't there, I went into shock and I went super pale and I could feel something was wrong. So luckily I didn't stand on my foot. I knew that I stepped my Achilles. Like your brain just tells you, look, <laughs> you just know what's happened. So I, I limped all the way to the floor outside the squash court, lay down, uh, called the medics because I was at the gym. They brought ice. Um, my dad came, helped me splint my foot so that I couldn't move it too much. And two hours later, I was at the hospital in emergency and I spent the night there uh, so that they could evaluate me and see if I needed surgery. 
And then the orthopedic surgeon said that I don't need surgery. So we're going the non-surgical route. And it's actually, it's been okay. Uh, the first week I didn't really have any pain. Like it was sore, but I was thinking to myself, this is going to be easy. I'm going to get through this quite easily. And the second week has just been crazy, crazy pain. I've been taking painkillers like crazy. I haven't been taking the prescribed dose though, because I should be taking four a day. I've been taking two a day. The maximum I've taken is three. And the last two days I've been taking one a day just to try to sleep at night. So as bad as the pain's been, uh, I think I've been handling it pretty well, although it is extremely, extremely sore. There's almost like this throbbing, pa throbbing pain. Your car feels like it wants to spasm. It still feels like there's a knife in there. It's almost like I can feel that gap. And I don't know if it's closing already, but it feels like my Achilles is moving. Uh, it's almost like it's it's twitching and throbbing inside the inside the boot. So a few tips and tricks. Um, I'm on crutches, so I've got these um, elbow crutches, and they're pretty good. Except uh, I'm getting lots of bruises on my forearms. I don't know if you can see that so well, but uh, they do bruise your forearms with all the movement and jerking. The next thing that you want to do when moving around on crutches that I've had to learn is get yourself some sort of bag. So I've got this moon bag, whatever you want to call it, fanny pack. <laughs> so I just put it around me like this, put it on, and then I just keep everything with me. So I've got my earbuds, I've got my cell phone. If I need water or anything, I just stick it in here, zip it up. So I just use that wherever you need to go from the couch to the kitchen and you need to carry things because when you're on crutches you can't carry anything and I made myself popcorn the other day <laughs> and I try to move and bring the bowl like it took me so long to just get the, the bowl out the cupboard and actually make the popcorn and then by the time I wanted to go sit and watch TV and eat it I, I had no way of getting the bowl there so <laughs> Using the crutches is, is quite frustrating sometimes. But uh, yeah, just certain things like that, having this moon bag, just keeping everything with you so you can move around and carry things is a huge help. Um, I'm still got another week before I see the orthopedic surgeon. They're gonna take a wedge out. So it's gonna make it a little bit less of an angle so my foot can come up. And then by the time, I think it's in about four weeks time, my foot will be at 90 degrees. We'll just see how everything's healing. Um, but it is a worry because your Achilles can lengthen long. So if it lengthens long, it doesn't really work properly and then you're going to have to have to get surgery. So there's a few things that I'm still worried about, but I'm trying to keep as positive as I can. Uh, hopefully next week, I'm going to talk to her, see if I am allowed to go to gym. If I can go to gym and just do like basic things, upper body, like biceps, triceps, shoulders, anything where I'm seated and I don't have to put pressure on my foot just to get uh, back into training and keep strong. I'm gonna try to do that and hopefully get back to training. Um, but right now I'm doing nothing. The last two weeks I've been doing nothing. I've been sitting, sleeping, taking pain meds, waking up, sleeping. So I think my body just needs the time to heal. Uh, it's still gonna be a long process, but I'll keep you up to date. And hopefully it can help you if you're going through the same thing because I've been watching other videos and it's helped me see like what they've gone through and one of the guys re-ruptured his Achilles by doing too much. So I definitely want to take it easy. Uh, I don't think I can go through another another two weeks of the, like these first two weeks of recovering. Uh, that will be painful and long and set me back so much. So I want to take everything very careful, very slowly and uh, just recover properly that I've got a proper functioning Achilles heel again, Achilles tendon and just move my heel properly and be able to go back to boxing that's the main thing um so yeah so i'll take you on the journey so this is coming to the end of week two uh we'll see what the doctor says next week i'll keep you guys up to date if anything happens if i manage to get out the house and i can do a vlog or something i'll take you with but uh, i will see you guys soon